Hi guys, um, so you might be noticing that it's a slightly different setup or slightly different lighting. So I'm actually on holiday and I did tie-dye yesterday, so my nails are quite blue. I have tried to get it out, but I'm not with too much success. But let's continue with question two nonetheless. Okay, it says the Miss South Africa is a national beauty pageant for South African women that takes place annually. Okay, the winner is then able to complete, compete internationally in the Miss World and Miss Universe competitions. The 2018 competition was the 60th Miss South Africa pageant. Okay, there were there were 28 contestants. The list below shows the top 12 finalists and their final positions in the pageant. Okay, a little bit of background. Okay, and then we have all of our lovely ladies. So we go from Akile to Tokozile, right? And we have all of these in between. Okay, we have Tamron Green, who's the winner. Okay. Um, so, and then everyone in between from variety of provinces, variety of ages. So we should be thinking, right, that they're going to be asking us some insights about this data. Okay, so let's just frame that correctly before we start. So the first question says, use the information in the table above to answer the following questions. It says, calculate the range of the ages of the contestants in the top 12. So let's just quickly count, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They said it was 12. There is 12. The range means they, the largest minus the smallest. Okay, so what is the highest or the largest um, age? It is 26. What is the smallest age? Right, if we run across, it is Danielle, right? And that is 20. Okay, so... The difference is six years, okay? It's, it's good practice to say what you're working with, right? Don't just say six, it could be six anything, right? Say six years, okay? Let's now move on to this second question over here. It says calculate the mean age, the mean age of the top 12 contestants, okay? So what we're gonna have to do is we have to add all of these together Okay, and divide by 12. Okay, let me just quickly get my calculator. Okay, here we go. Here's my calculator. I hope you've had a head start on me there. Add them all together. Okay, importantly, most important thing is to put it correctly into your calculator. Right, so um, 23, 24, plus 21, plus 20, Plus 23, plus 25, plus 24, plus 25, plus 23, plus 21, plus 26, plus 26. Okay, and I'm getting 281. Okay, so you show that you can show that you have summed all of these, right? But then effectively, you want to say 281 over 12. Okay. That's how we find the average. Remember, it's the expected age if you just chose a contestant at random, okay? So, 281 divided by 12, the average age is 23.42 years, okay? And what's important there, okay, is that we round it off, right? But 23.42, right, is not an age. So you can just say it's equivalent to 23 years. Okay, right? That is important, okay? Because that isn't actually an age. No one says I'm 23.42, okay? And we round it down because it is closer to 23 than it is to 24, okay? So that's that. Let's now go on to the next question. Okay, it says determine the modal age of the top 12 contestants. So what they're te testing here is they're wanting you to display your understanding of various statistical words, right? Modal, when you see this word, you must say most, okay? Most, what occurs most often, okay? So let's go back. So what occurs most often? Let's see. Um, we see that 23 occurs once, twice, three times, okay? Does anything occur more often than that? 26 is twice, 21 is twice, 24 is twice. So I'm thinking that it's 23, 
okay? And you'll notice here what's important, guys, is there's no sort of science necessarily here, right? You just have to look through it and count the number of different ages, okay? You might say, oh, well, you got to that quickly, right? And maybe it takes you a bit longer, and that's okay, okay? I just want to show you what you should be looking for, okay? So in this case, it is 23 years, okay? And importantly, don't just write 23, guys. 23 what? Make sure that the marker knows that you know what you're talking about. Okay. Now, determine the median age. Excuse my very blue nails. Determine the median age of the top 12 contestants. Median. What does that mean? It means middle. Okay. So, what is important here is that we put them in order right from smallest to biggest because that's how you find the middle that's the biggest thing with the median is that we put it in order okay because if you don't do that it's very difficult to find the middle number okay so when you see words like median put it in order okay so let's put these in order so i'm just going to put them in order over here at the top right just so that we can see while we're working so i'm seeing 20 and i'm going to cross them out as i go 21, I see a 21 there, and there's another 21 over there. Okay, is there any 22s? No, but we know one, two, three 23s. Okay, and you might be saying, Marks, this is so long, but you want to do it right, guys. One, two 24s. Okay, what do we have left? We have one, two 25s. Hope you can see what I'm writing. Yep, you can. And then we have two 26s. Okay, so let's just count. We have 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Perfect. So what is the middle of 12, guys? So 12 divided by 2 is 6. If you don't believe me, put it into your calculator and you'll see that it's 6, right? So let's count 6 from both ends. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 6. But from this end, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we see that they are actually two numbers that classifies the middle, right? Because when you have an even number, you're always going to have two middle numbers, okay? If you have an odd in a number of numbers, you have a clear middle, okay? But with even, you don't. So to find the median, we have to add these two and divide it by two. So we basically have to find an average Right, it's very similar to a mean, right? When you say mean, you should also be thinking words like average, okay? Just to get our, our mind in the right space, okay? So 23 and 24, you can add those together. Sorry, it's lots of flicking of pages in this one, okay? So we're gonna say 23 plus 24, but because there's two of them, we're gonna divide by two. So it's gonna be 23.5, yes. Okay? 23.5, okay? And there I wouldn't advise that you round it off, right? Because if you round it off, you are not displaying, right? That you understanding necessarily what a median is, okay? And that's what you wanna do. You always wanna make sure that the person who's marking understands what you're doing. So putting this here, displays to them that you're like, oh, it's an even number. Add the two middle numbers, divide it by two, get the median, smash it, okay? Let's now go on to our second last question here. So it says, using the information in the table, explain why you cannot say who was ranked in third position in the competition. Now, I'm like, oh, panic stations of the nations, what's going on, right? But let's just go look, right? So, right, this is interesting. So they say first, and they say first round up. So we know first and second. But let me just get some color for us up in here so we know what's going on. Right, we see that this person was top five, and this was top five, and that was top five, right? So after, we, we know top five, and we know one and two, but we don't know who, where the other three ladies, where they actually placed, okay? So that's a problem, because they give us one and two, but not three, four, and five, okay? So that is an interesting interpretation question, okay? So, so you'll say, um... The table does not state, does not state third, fourth, or fifth places, just top five. We only know 
one or first and second for sure. Okay, they just want you to display that you really understand what's going on. Okay, it's not too difficult, right? But it's one of those ones where they really want you to interpret. Oh, now we have some drawings. So I'm going to get some colors. I'm very bad with drawing these, I must be honest with you. But we will conquer nonetheless. Okay, so it says draw a suitable graph to represent the number of contestants by province. Okay, so let's go and see what provinces we have. Okay, it's lots of flicking here. Lots and lots of flicking. Okay, so what do we have? Where are we now? Okay, we have... Let's just do a little summary table. I'm just going to do it up here. It's a bit of a mess, but it's just so that we can do it all on one screen. Okay, GP. One, two, three, four, five. Sure, seems like there's lots of beautiful ladies in Gauteng. Okay, that's five. Okay, let's do Mpumalanga. So I'm just going to say MP. In Pomalanga, we only have one. Then KZN, KwaZulu Natal, we have one, two. Okay. Then Free State, we just seem to have one. Okay. Um, Western Cape, let's just see, we just seem to have one. Right. Eastern Cape, we seem to have one. And Northern Cape, we seem to have one. So let's just check that we haven't missed anyone. So 5 plus 1 is 6, plus 2 is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Great. We know that there's 12 people, so now we can go and put this into a table. So now it might be easy for you, easier for you to write this on another piece of paper because now we're going to have to be doing flicking. I'm just going to quickly write this data on the next page just so that we don't have to be flicking because I know it can be a little bit frustrating as a viewer when Margs is flicking like a crazy person over here. Okay, so I've written the information down here for me. You must have written this somewhere else and let's put it into a nice graph. Okay, so remember with a graph, importantly, heading, access, headings, it's very important, right? So I'm gonna say number, of content, oh, hopefully I spelled that right. Did I spell that correctly? Excellent. And then we'll put province down here. Okay, and a title. I'm literally gonna say here, um, number of Miss SA contestants by province. Okay, you can underline that. I've written it like quite ugly, but you, um, I guess in, in, in exams we also write things a little bit uglily, so that's okay. So let's just see, the max is five, so we could probably, let's just see, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, right, and let's just make sure we have some space, I'm going to say GP over here, Mpumalanga, KZN, Free State, Western Cape, Eastern Cape, Northern Cape, is that correct? Seven, perfect. Now, let's draw in what we need to. So here we know Gauteng is where a lot of the ladies are from. So we're just going to do this. Because Gauteng is five, right? And Pumalanga is just one. KZN is two. Do you see I'm lining these up with my data points? importance guys then we know that all these other provinces sorry if you're hearing a dog barking um all these other provinces is just one okay do you see that all right so that is how we went about it and i think that is correct let's just check if it all adds up it seems it all adds up so that is us okay that's this question done okay hope that was helpful see you in the next one